you doing for us today? Okay, we are making now. <laughs> we caught a, as you can see, we have wonderful Australian salmon. <laughs> we catch a lovely piece of pilchard uh, and we did a very good job. Uh, simultaneously, we caught salmon and travelli. <laughs> But what we are going to prepare Yes, we got good footage of that yesterday. <laughs> it is very good. <laughs> tonight we, we make fun, a, a unique delicacy which come from ben, Bendalong Thai. And uh, this is called uh, Australian Summer Carpaccio. <laughs> Keep a straight face. <laughs> yes, the very important component of uh, preparing carpaccio is to clean the fish. See, you need to clean the fish gut, get rid of, uh, this happens when you catch fish straight away. The first thing that you need to do is you need to bleed fish, okay? Because the salmon has a, a unique, unique bit of a strip of uh, blood that sits in this uh, dorsal area of the fish. So that's the first thing you need to do when you go fishing. But when you uh, catch fish, clean, gut, get rid of gills, get rid of scales, very good preparation for right, it. We need better knives than this. But yeah, bigger. We'll just improvise. Now we're going to fill up the bastards. Normally, you should do it like this, but yeah, the knife is shit. Alright, now we've done that bit. We'll chop that. Lovely. That's piece number one. And why have you chosen to carpaccio uh, the Australian salmon? Ah, the Aussie salmon. It's uh, if it was char grilled, then you know we'd, we'd, get, we'd put put it on the grater, like that. It's just a little bit of a drier fish, so. But, but carpaccio is just the ideal methodology for it. There we go, number two, tutto finito. Okay, bloody beautiful, mate. Okay. So chop that. So normally we just strip this back. You normally chop it away, but we'll try and strip it back. It's Put that away, that's it. Ready to chop. That's ready to chop so I can piece this piece off there. There's bones in there. So you're getting rid of that belly yeah. piece yeah. because it's got too many bones to play yeah. with. Not like the sushi masters that. Mm. There we go. Keep that. This is where you really need the sharp knife. Oh mate, the world's watching. You're gonna have to be a bit chefier than that. I mean, come on, let's see. Okay, nearly ready. <laughs> nearly ready. 
important thing for Carpaccio is patience. Mm -hmm. okay. Nearly there. Cutting them super thin because just so that it soaks up the, it cures and then it soaks up all the all the flavors so it's going to cure in the sauces that we're going to pop in. I guess it doesn't matter that much that you mangled it in the filleting process because nah. it all gets mangled up anyway. In the More end. or less, yeah. So it's almost like a fish mince. Sort of. Because it's a small fish but with a, uh, a larger fish then it's really, really thin fillets. Mm. If it was a large salmon then we just really uh, cut it in, in fine pieces. And because we've been busy in, in preparing then, we're going to try straight away. Herbs, a bit of basil. That's it. Gonna pop some chili. Let's give it a little bit of a kick. Touch of sesame oil. Moisture and a little bit of sweetness and the curative ability of uh, the teriyaki. That's it. Now we just mix a little bit. And we're going to pop this in the fridge. Okay, now the chef always tries. Pizzicato, yeah, but yeah, that's. Mm. 